Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Mike and welcome to a little segment called Let's Talk Hockey. Dion Phaneuf just got traded to the Ottawa Senators. So Dion Phaneuf was rumored to go to a lot of teams around the NHL. A lot of teams were interested in him. A lot of teams wanted him for the playoff run. And Toronto was obviously looking to get rid of that $7 million contract that Phaneuf is holding on the Leafs. Especially that, you know, Toronto's not going to be making a playoff run in the next couple of years. So they really want to get rid of him. Phaneuf had a contract going through the 2020-2021 season. And it was $7 million. Along with Dion Phaneuf, the Maple Leafs traded Matt Fradden, Casey Bailey, and Ryan Rupert. Along with another defenseman, the Maple Leafs received Eric Cowan, Milan McCulloch, Colin Greening, and Tobias Lindbergh, along with a second round pick in the next year's draft, which is the 2017 NHL draft. Phaneuf only has 24 points in 51 games, and uh, Toronto's obviously not like that big scoring machine, so he's obviously not racking up the points that he, you know, he could or he should. Now with that huge contract out of the way, Toronto has a chance to, you know, sign some players during the offseason. One player that comes to mind, Steven Samkos, obviously. Even though right now, as this video is being made, his contract is still undetermined, and he might not be able, he might not be traded by the end of this year. He can go into free agency at the end of this year and not be able to discuss a contract with the Tampa Bay Lightning. However, back to Toronto and Ottawa. The Ottawa Senators only have 56 points right now, and with only like 30 games remaining, they are tied with the Canadians. Now, with the Montreal Canadiens playing so poorly and Ottawa Senators, you know, trying to, you know, Make, maybe make that run again like they did last year, especially with the carry of Andrew Hammond, but this year it's going to be Craig Anderson. He's back and healthy. Can the Ottawa Senators possibly hop over the Montreal Canadiens, especially with Carey Price injured, their MVP? The MVP of the whole league is injured. With the Montreal Canadiens playing so poorly, can the Ottawa Senators make that historic playoff run and run to the playoffs themselves, just like they did last year, especially with this acquisition of Dion Phaneuf? With Dion Phaneuf off the market currently, now only a few defensemen remain as you know, good offensive threats or even just good defensemen themselves to help a team win the playoffs you know, and win the Stanley Cup. One of them is Dustin Bufflin, and he currently just signed an extension with Winnipeg and will not no longer be you know, trade bait you know, for any other team. Two other defensemen come to mind, Keith Yandel of the New York Rangers and Kevin Shattenkirk of the St. Louis Blues. Shankar would become an unrestricted free agent at the end of the 2016-2017 season. Whereas Keith Yandel, he will be a free agent at the end of this year, the 2016 season. In 53 games played, Keith Yandel has 28 points. In 45, Kevin Shankar has... In 45 games played, Kevin Shankar only has 27 points. Keith Yandel's contract ending at the end of this year, you know, will they trade him? Will they try to get something for him to bring it in to help win the cup? or to help make another playoff run, or will they you know, believe in Keith Yandel and try to make that push to the, the playoffs and the push of the cup with Keith Yandel. Or so guys, thanks for watching. That was basically Let's Talk Hockey. There's gonna be much more of that. I'm a really big Ranger fan, so I'm going to make a lot of videos about the Rangers. Uh, definitely be a little biased, of course. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Subscribe for more hockey videos. There's gonna be a lot more hockey videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.